Welcome back, guys. We have slimes in the chat for Arena. We just solved the uh, puzzle of the gears. The music box started playing. I've heard this somewhere. If I play it on the piano, I might remember something. All right, I guess we're gonna play it on the piano. Back to the piano. Fuck, I don't wanna play shit. This score seems like a song must be like this. Okay, hang on. Uh... Uh, excuse me? My, sorry, my fucking thing here is not reacting. Hello? This song, I've heard it before. Sorry, okay. Whew. I, I, I was hoping they wouldn't get me to do that anymore. Where is this place? I've been here before, I think. Um, okay. Uh, there's an item over there, so let's go pick that up, I guess. How you doing today, Arena? How was work? My diary. Today I played in the garden again, and because it's by the workshop, I heard a grinding noise. I thought it was Father, but it wasn't. I didn't get to see him after all. Father's always making masks. When father doesn't stroke my head, I feel lonely. When he doesn't hug me, it's boring. I asked mother when he'll be do done working, but I didn't get an answer. This character is really obsessed with her dad. Uh, yeah, where exactly are we? I don't think we're in the hospital anymore. This looks more like a house. Or at least this room. You can think of, I guess, a hospital room, could be. It is grayscale after all. Okay, I can't walk through the curtains, I guess. My character's stuck. Two thirds of the problems fixed after other company decided to change DC without telling us. That, that would've been nice to tell you. Listen to that heart pound. So, uh, would you ever live in a house with paper doors? Spaced out, girl. Here goes. Sayaka's diary. This is my mother's. I saw Ruka standing in the moonlit garden. I don't know what she was doing. She just stood there with a blank expression, muttering. Ruka seems frightened whenever she sees herself in a, in a mirror. Before she blooms, I must consult Dr. Haibara. If I don't hurry, it'll be too late to see a doctor. I think Ruka may have had this problem for some time. Someday, when Ruka's cured, I'll see her smile. Yeah, you'll see her smile. If it was a nice location, the rent was cheap. What if there were ghosts? My mother's diary. He's put the mask on Ruka. Various masks were placed before the altar. Is this what caused Ruka to suffer from the disease? He's changed. The time he spends confined in his workshop increases daily. And every time he returns from the workshop, I feel as though he, is, uh, he isn't telling me something. The color of irritation is visible in his words as he speaks. Now, whatever he's pursuing, he won't talk to me about it. 
However, he is clearly completely dedicated to it, even obsessed. What is he going to do? When I think about it, my faith in him wavers. When all of this, his, this work is finished, will Suya come back? Perhaps I'll, he'll never return. Such thoughts have flashed through my mind. He is so different from the Suya I knew. I have to keep Ruko away from him. Ah, oh, shit, Mom and Dad. There's an old Japanese-style dresser covered with beautiful peonies on the framework. It contains several equally beautiful kimonos. You really? You've lived in places with ghosts? Tell us about this. The smaller dresser is crafted with butterflies. Beautiful peonies on the framework. Share with us the details of your life. Hey, what's in here? I don't think I can open this closet. Yeah, it looks like we're randomly back inside her house that she grew up in, would be my guess. Also, who closed the door? I don't remember closing the door. outside. Come on, we can do it. We can open this door. What is in here? Ghost. Ghost dad. Inside the family altar, a mask has been enshrined. Small memor memorial tablets are lined up on either side. You can see outside again, but... There's Ruka just staring at the moon. Little Ruka. A photo of my father? Well, it was quite the walk down memory lane. Hey, this is okay. Don't talk to me like that. Anyway. Uh, the first place, uh, you shared a one-bedroom apartment with your cousin. The only time you had contact with the ghosts was when you'd go to the bathroom and lock the door with nobody else home. You'd hear the front door open, someone put down their keys, and immediately start typing on the keyboard to one of our computers. Mind you, the computers were about five feet from the front door. You thought it was your cousin, but it was weird, thought it was weird, he moved so fast, and you said hello, and the sound would disappear. I asked at the front if anyone died in the apartment, they said they had to disclose there was a fire, and a college student died in the fire. That would explain the typing. I guess that makes sense. That's horrible. Uh, don't look under the bed. Don't do it. There was uh, another time one of our friends spent the night there and neither of us there. Uh, he started telling me it was really funny how we opened all, all the cabinets and fridge door in the middle of the night. We didn't even come home. Oh, all right. Tomorrow is the day of the festival. I can see the masked dancing. I can't wait to go to the festival with everyone, but if I put on a mask, will I forget about everything again? The illness makes me lose my memories. I remember being sick, but the people who I can't meet anymore, the people who have died, my father, they all disappear. 
If I try to remember, I start feeling scared. But if I don't remember, my father will disappear. The father I can remember will die. I'm scared. I'm scared of remembering, but please don't disappear. Okay. It's interesting. There's a mask. The box contains a mask. When I took it out of the box, I, l I looked at it carefully. I faintly remembered something. This is... That should just be the end of the chapter. Seems like it. The day of the festival when I was kidnapped, it it hurts to remember. That day when I was kidnapped, what did they do to me? So, the second place was bad. Uh, I don't know the entire history of that place, but it was in Jonesboro. Uh, is AR Arkansas? Because AZ is Arizona, right? The house was moved from another place, so that the real estate agents didn't have to disclose what happened on the property. There was a room in the house that different cats would poop in a circle, regardless of how many litter boxes we put there. That's weird. Definitely creepy. Alright, so we gotta find our breadcrumb that'll lead us to the next area. Probably be out here somewhere. I don't know what I just took a picture of, but there's something in the window. That's definitely creepy, especially since it's different cats. Wait, is there actually stuff in this room now? There are multiple sightings of ghosts there by visitors too. There was more activity if the house was dirty or people were having conflict. Nurses note, stagnant air flows through this hospital. Hospital staff dying in accidents, inpatients disappearing mis mysteriously. The sorrowful presence here suddenly began. Ever since that day, the behavior of patients has become increasingly strange. <clears throat> the doctors and nurses are being crushed by the dismal atmosphere. After Tsubaki on the third floor died, I have had to take care of her duties here there until new people can be hired. I had to take over. There was no one else. I maintained contact with the patient that left the hospital. The child that was kidnapped and found safely. When the child's room was cleaned, <clears throat> I found her mother's diary. And the mother and child left the island now. And they won't be coming back soon to get, to get it soon. All it held was painful memories of the place on the island where they grew up. They may come back someday. Until that time, it's important to keep it safe. Hey, dude. Someone said they, uh, or the dogs would sleep in the hallway where the stairs were and slowly move their heads like someone was walking past them. Someone had uh, said that they saw a boy in a beanie staring at them from the do garage door. When they approached the door, they vanished. So it sounds like this one had a lot more sightings than the other place. Guess I shouldn't have even bothered exploring. Sayaka's Diary 3. A small cherry key. I used the key. Opening the diary with the key. Ruka, I'm sorry. I don't think I could take it anymore. When I heard from the detective how you were found, everything I believed in collapsed with the noise. They say that the tunnel they found you in was connected to the elevator shaft in Haibara Hospital. 
I realized that putting you in that hospital and asking Dr. Hybara to cure you was nothing but a mistake, and when I heard that what condition your clothes were in when you were found and what the tunnel was like, I... Who would have thought that the person... that that person was involved? To imagine that that murderer was really involved in all this. Then there really isn't any place that can offer us peace anymore. Mr. Kirishima said it was unreasonable to take me to the place where you were found from the first floor of Rugetsu Hall corridor crossing to Haibara Hospital. In the basement of Haibara Hospital, there's no elevator button that goes de further down than the first floor. That's where you were, against the old tunnel wall, where the hospital construction work was suspended, right under the moon reflection well. Only a thin light shines down from the dark of the well. The cold air from that place makes the body tremble uncontrollably. When I stood in that place, I could only cry. Back then, what happened to you? Why did your heart break? Why did your heart break? Your memories vanish. Dr. Katagiri said that even if your memory doesn't return, you are fortunate to have survived. For now, we must try not try to, or we must try not to upset the balance of your barely maintained mental state. From now on, maybe it's not impossible for you to recover slowly and return to a normal life again. But you probably won't remember anything from before you lost your memory. What reason do you have to remember when it would only break your heart? Just maybe there's a chance that you may be a bloom. It will be hard to lose our irreplaceable memories, but we need to forget about the things of the past. What, what you remembered? That what's happened to us? We should only look forward, holding hands tightly. From now on, only remember the good things. Uh, there was a crawl space upstairs that had a door sealed shut and could only be opened from the inside. One day we found that door opened and another door fell off its hinges like they got kicked the opposite direction, which is humanly impossible. We were advised by a supernatural spell that specialist to put a tape recorder in the room, the cats pooped in it, and leave it overnight. We would hear someone walking heavily up and down the stairs sometimes and banging in that room. We left the tape recorder overnight and checked the next morning. It was gone. Well, so, apparently someone doesn't like to be recorded. Then how did your, uh, I, were you with your wife at this time, or... How does she feel about this? Dues 11. You all caps lock. <laughs> the building had inspectors here all day. Uh, Busy place. Okay. I don't actually know where I'm going now. That's this is a problem. Uh, we gotta go to Hybara Hospital, but there's nothing that indicates how to get there, other than leaving through the door. Let's see, we're going to the. Third floor. There's the stairs. This is... Ooh, you know what? I think I know where to go. Um, that room that was... Okay, I think I know how to get there. I think I know where we're going. You didn't know his caps run. That's okay. Your ex-wife, she was kind of crazy. She enjoyed all of it or had an odd way of caring about it. Like it was exhilarating or something. That is an odd way to take it, I agree. Maybe she's just really into ghosts. Like, really into ghosts. I too have an ex-wife. I hate her. I hate her so much. No, I'm kidding. I don't hate her. There's our breadcrumb. Oh, it's you again. Are you gonna wanna fight? Oh, wait. Uh, I know you. You're the super ghost.
Stay the fuck away from me. Super ghost. I think you're so tough. You're not tough. I found out from a medium that you had some sort of attunement to the spiritual world, and there were uh, multiple times you had people approach you and tell you this to me uh, about your aura, which is weird. I found out from that medium because I was haunted once, so I've lived in two places as ghosts, and I've been haunted. That's exciting. You have a little cat named Godric, Lord Godric. He is very little. I don't, I, I don't know if. I, I, I don't know if he's littler than Bailey, but he, he is little. I like to tell Bailey that she's a little cat. And I like to tell her perhaps she's too little. Too little for this world. So, Summer, you have quite the experience with Gus. Now... Um, I found out recently that Locke does not believe in ghosts. So it's interesting to hear the two takes. The one that does not believe in ghosts at all, and then yours experiences, which would lead one to believe that ghosts do exist. Now here's a question. Imagine time is separated into like, kind of like the strings on like a guitar or a harp. Right? And each timeline is its own thing. But imagine if maybe those timelines somehow got tangled at a point and one timeline is in 1950 like, and the other is in 2019, the one we're in. Uh, but they don't necessarily line up exactly like that. Like 1950 is right, right here, 2019 is right here, but in this timeline it's right here. And they intertwine. Maybe that's what ghosts are. Maybe they're not actually dead people. It's just another timeline. Uh, Tangling with eyes briefly. But he is heavier. It's true. Bailey won't eat her dry food anymore. <laughs> Stream lags after an ad, so you refresh and it gives you another ad? Rathalos, oh no! That's horrible, I'm sorry. Darn leg. Well, you're up and going now, right? All is good. So I know this is a stone mirror. I'm pretty sure, yeah, she still has hers. You think that's close, but time isn't the right moniker? You see, people, a lot of people say to say that time doesn't exist. Um, but I disagree. Time exists regardless of how we measure it. One moment passing is still a moment passing. You were in spicy hot wing limbo for, for a while? I want spicy hot wings. Well, maybe not spicy. Spicy would kill me. Is only a connection to the physical world. I think that's fair. I don't really want to go up here because that ghost will probably start chasing me again. But at the same time, I want to see if there's items up here. My desire to find items is overpowered my desire to avoid the ghost. We just took the long way around, but. It ended up being worth it. Also, for some reason, my brother keeps posting these things about how time is only a construct of mankind, and I'm like, okay, and what are you getting at by these posts? Like, what is your major agenda here? Oh, okay, interesting.
Blow! I learned blow. Excellent. Alright. What does blow do? Alright, this is... I like that one. Oh, consumes all your spirit power and deals a blow of violence as a power. It's consumed. Alright, we'll take it. You should ask why he's using that construct to post it that it's non existence. Like I said, whether the me uh, way humankind measures time or not uh, is relevant to you, time still exists. It's just it, like a moment passes whether you measure it or not. At least, you know, assuming we're all alive, and this isn't some form of purgatory. So my theory is we gotta go down here. I agree, thank you. It's a terrible place to make me fight a ghost. I have so many points, I'm not worried about using herbal medicines. He does so much damage, and he teleports so quickly. You grabbed Dwarf Fortress recently? It's good shit? You like it? I have never played it, or really even thought about it beyond seeing its name. Rathalos, how do you feel about living in the Matrix? Alright, so we're gonna risk running into that angry ghost again. Not the one I just fought. That one was pretty angry too, but... Free on Bay 12 Games. They've got a Patreon. What do you think of uh, our. Um, what type of game is it? I saw the name of it on uh, Twitter, but. At least I'm Robot Overlord, so murderous. Yeah, but why would they create a Matrix where, like, world the world sucks? I mean, we do have Dragon Quest, at least, so it's not that bad. I 
Actually, I'll buy a few pieces. I got that puts me up over 20 shots with the, uh... You prepare your dwarves and you dig and make home in the mountains and trade with other people. It's pretty complex. I think I should check this game out. It sounds interesting. Dude, I am making very low, very slow progress in this game. We're still only on chapter six. 